Hey everyone, this is Max with Unsubscribed Healthcare, and I wanted to go over the new setup that I have going on. As you can see up here, we do have the standard menu at the top here, and then we see unsub menu. This is the same as it has been before, and then you getting started it allows for a couple of other things. Uh, so it allows you to upload your logo easily to every template without having to open them up individually and then upload. Uh, you also can upload your company info from here. Once you have uh, started getting started, uh, this will actually delete itself when it's completed so that you won't need it anymore. So we still go to the click me to get started. You're still going to have to authorize the script. So you'll click on your name, click on continue, come down, click allow. It'll probably look a little bit different for you guys. I do have it on the PDF that I still give out. I am updating that as well, but this will be the most current video on how to get set up. So we'll click on the click to get started. You can see that this will window will pop up. If you have all of these uh, URLs starting to uh, be placed there, that's great. So it's updating the templates, folders, and files. Okay, so it's putting in uh, this cell into E2 of each template for you. It might be running a little bit slower because I am recording at the same time. Okay, so now it says the confirmed trigger has been getting uh, created, so the getting started menu will go away after uh, you close it out. If we want to, we're going to put in our company information, so I'm going to put in my company LLC. This is my physical therapy company. I'm going to say that it is a physical therapy company. Uh, this is a fake number, obviously. But you want to make sure that you have all of this information on hand. Company street address. This is the same as my street address for this uh, software business as well. And that is in Westford. Yes. 01886. Company phone number. Four nine six uh, eight two one seven. Okay, uh, nine seven eight four nine six nine three one eight. Okay, and again, this is a fake EIN, but you want to have that on your hands uh, or have that information available. I find it easier just to have a you know a Google Doc available and you can just copy and paste all of this stuff. Now you can see it also says that we can upload the file, upload your logo to all the files. So you'll need to have your um, URL for the company or the logo that you want to have. You'll click paste and then as you upload, you'll see it in the top right corner there. And now it says the current logo. So you know that the program is working. As that wheel is spinning and after it says upload is complete, you can press OK. The wheel is going to continue to spin, but you can exit out of that and close it. Immediately, it's going to ask you to put in your provider information. So do you want to add providers? So yes, we can add providers. So now I will type in Maxwell, Shippen, DPT. Uh, again, fake NPI number and fake license number. Now you can also draw your signature. So we're going to just do X, click save. Great. Now just like the upload logo, it's going to say upload into each template and it's going to be uploading the uh, signature to every template. So you can hear, see that the wheel is now uh, spinning and dotting out. When it does that, that means it's uploaded to a new template. Um, you can see here that it's still going. Once you see the running script at the top kind of disappear, then you're good.
once it keeps spinning like this, it, uh, and that uh, script running page has been going and it's gone now, uh, we can safely close out of this. Okay. Double check on the signature. Make sure it uh, was successful in doing that. So we'll go up here to templates, PT templates. We're going to click on upper extremity. Great. So we see that this has been populated into C2. So if we click on this, allow access. Sex. So it says successfully connected, which means that our database is now connected. All of the information that we just typed in is all here. And also you can see my uh, signature and also all of my information is right here too, which is great. So that means that the EVO sheet and everything else, let's refresh. And you can see direct access, PT, I'll check out my name. And then you can see it pulls for my MPI number. And there we go, it is all set. And that is the setup. Um, again, you would then go through your forms uh, to make sure that all of it has your company information. So coming down here to your forms uh, and then just going into patient subjective and consent is one that you really need to focus in on as well as the intake forms. Uh, those two things will make it so that you can just put in your own company information into the subjective and consent to treat areas where they have these lines, um, and then you should be good to go. So it's a pretty quick process now. Uh, it doesn't take as long as it did before, um, and it should go a lot smoother. So you can see that this only took about six and a half minutes to set up. Uh, there is the additional uh, setting up of the intake in the uh, patient subjective forms that you would want to do. But overall, this is a much faster way to set it up than uh, it has been previously. Uh, it used to take me a week to install all of the um, coding and everything else and customize it for everybody but this way it is much faster and you can get the product up and going very quickly uh, if you guys have any questions comments or concerns feel free to email me at max at unsubscribe.healthcare and i will try and get back to you as quick as possible i do have my other business my full-time physical therapy business on top of this uh, which keeps me very busy, um, but I am happy to try and answer you as quickly as possible. Again, thank you so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe.